Hi, Sophie Keen Drunk here with yet another attempt at an ale review. The I'm going to review just now is uh, the old uh, English ale. It's the Bass Finest Ale, 4.4 on the Richter scale. Uh, a beer that uh, apparently, it, I think it was Button on Trent or Button on Tweed, whatever it is, one of the buttons anyway, showing my ignorance here. It's basically the home of real ale. I don't know, it's one of the most famous places in England anyway. I think it's all real ales come from this place. I might be talking a lot of crap here, but there you go. So anyway, we'll get the old uh, Bass Finest, as it used to be known. Now it's known as Bass uh, Premium. The big boys have got a hold of this now. It's in Bev that's got a hold of it. So it's kind of more or less put fancy words on it, like premium and stuff like that. See if we can get a sell elsewhere. Well, anyway, get the culprit in the glass, see what it's all about. There we go, here's the polar. Your bog standard English ale. Terry Key would be proud of that polar, it's hardly any head on it. There you go. Slight carbonation on it, not much, but just slightly. Let's go here for the aroma. See what I can come up with for the bass ale. Well, I'm getting a light malt uh, aroma from that. Slight nuttiness, uh, yeah. I'm going to see something totally off the wall here now. I don't know if it's uh, anyone's ever picked up on it. Kind of wet nettle smell. And there's one for you from a Sofa King drunk that never gets anything on the nose, and I've picked out wet nettles from the bass ale. Well, anyway, it's all about the taste. So, slangy va. We'll get in here and see what we can come up with. Well, I do actually get the nutty type taste of that. A little bit of zesty fruit in there as well. Um, the nuts and the fruit actually work well. Not getting the taste of the the wet nettles as I, I got it, uh, but what I'm getting is I'm still getting the aroma when I put my when I put the glass up to my mouth to have a go. Getting a strong sort of uh, barley flavour as well. Kind of barley tasting. It's coming right through there. Almost like, uh, I would even say almost uh, spirit like. It's actually, it's actually not bad. I actually have got a funny story to tell you about this. I was actually on a recent trip to Ireland to visit my mother and uh, I was coming back on the ferry from Belfast back over home and uh, I went and I thought i have got to have a beer so I was on the ferry, walked up to the bar and they do all the usual taps, all the boring stuff and then I noticed they were serving it and they weren't serving it in glasses, they were serving it in the kind of plastic pint things so I was going to have a Guinness and I thought I'm not drinking Guinness out of a plastic cup so anyway, this older gentleman who was standing in front of me, and he had a look at he must have thought the same, I'm not drinking any of that rubbish you've got on tap. So he said, have you got any cans of beer? The guy says, yeah, I have. I actually have got bass. And he says, there, there's the deal there. He points to this sign. Five cans, a bass, for four quid. And he went, oh, that's too much for me, son. Uh, and he says, and then his pal came up and he said, do you think we've managed the five cans between us? I went, oh, I get them, I get them anyway. So they bought the five cans. So I thought, five cans, travelling alone, getting off the ferry, I'm getting on a bus with no toilet. And it's a like, good two hours to Glasgow after I got off this ferry. So I'm not really fancying my chances uh, drinking five cans of beer. So I said to him, I'll take a can of uh, bass off you please. And he says, I've got the deal. And I says, no, no, no. I says, I wouldn't drink five of them. 
So he's, he says, right, okay then. So he puts one can up in the counter, and he rings up Nutella and he goes, £3.25 please. <laughs> and I went like, give me the other four. <laughs> Another four cans for 75 pence. Now, you can't go wrong with that, can you? So, this is the only one I've got left because I did drink four of them on the ferry and uh, yes, I did need the toilet when I got off the bus. When I got home, I had to run into a pub. So anyway, <laughs> that's my story anyway. Uh, couldn't you pass up a bargain? So anyway, back to the beer. The bar sale. Uh, it's one of those ones, I think, uh, you could drink this at a slightly chilled or very warm, very room temperature. I actually think like in the summertime, if you were one of those guys that likes a, a wee bar sale from now and then, you would drink it slightly chilled, uh, obviously in the hot weather. Uh, but in the winter time, you would drink this warm, and you might have a wee cheeky dram with it as well. I, I think that's a kind of good good marriage there, with a wee dram on the side. So I'll go anyway for another wee drink of the, the Bass uh, Ale before I give you my score. Well anyway, moving on, I'm going to give the William Bass Company a premium bass ale, but to all those older guys out there, it's known as Bass Finest. 4.4 on the Richter scale. It's not what you would say one of the top ales that ever come out of England, but I'll tell you, it's there'll be a lot of, a lot of fans out there. It's not the worst thing I've ever drunk. Would I drink it again? Yes, I would drink it again. So that's how I'm going to give the bar sale. I'm going to give that a 6.5 out of 10. It's actually quite a good ale. Getting that barley flavour again. Nice and strong, actually. I think that's uh, where I'm maybe getting the nettles from. That kind of barley. Barley and nettles. They're not actually the same thing before somebody puts a silly comment at the bottom. Anyway, that was so fucking drunk with yet another attempt at the old review. So, anyway, if you've had the bass ale or you can help me out with the flavours or whatever, or tell me what the hops are, leave a comment below. And anyway, if not, thanks for sticking along to the end of the video and I'll see you in another beer review. Cheers for now, Slangy Vaff.